A mother and her two young children are still recovering after a driver hit them and drove away last week on Capitol Hill. And today, News 4 obtained video of the crash, and it's unsettling, to say the least. It shows an SUV running right there into the family at 12th and C Streets in Northeast. Today, News 4's Paul Wagner spoke with the mother, who asked that we not use her name. It's difficult to comprehend how something like this can happen. A young family, a mom, her son and daughter, and a dog on a leash, begin crossing C Street in the crosswalk when the driver of an SUV, who had appeared to stop, suddenly barrels into them. We agreed not to use the mom's name. He knocked me out of my shoes, and when I paused for a second, my son was laying on the ground. His, his left foot was caught under the, the driver's tire. And so I started screaming for the driver to back up, and there was a nice couple as well that had ran up and witnessed the whole thing and asked the driver to, to back up, and his window was down. The driver then backs up and at first pulls to the side, but suddenly speeds off. In the video, you can see only seconds later, a D.C. police officer is on the scene. He pauses for a moment before going after the driver. The mom says she was holding her son's hand and looked up and right into the eyes of the driver, indicating they had seen each other, and she thought it was okay to continue walking across the street when suddenly he hit the gas. I find it hard to believe that somebody would be driving with murderous intent to run us over, but, you know, he slowed through the intersection. That's the only reason we proceeded and I, I did believe that he had seen us crossing. A man who witnessed the crash immediately tried to help and ran after the driver as he sped off. The mom says he was able to get the tag and a police report indicates DC police have recovered the vehicle described as a black Nissan Armada. Now, more than a week later, her son and daughter are recovering, but there are still emotional scars. The trauma for my daughter, especially thinking that she just witnessed her dog get murdered and possibly her brother seriously injured. So we're going to seek some counseling for the children and just make sure that we're doing everything that we can to make sure that they process their emotions as well. For now, there is some frustration knowing no arrest has been made, but the mom says she has some hope the case will be closed and she may ultimately get some answers. In the district, Paul Wagner, News 4. And D.C. police say they're looking for the Good Samaritan who took photos of the vehicle's license plate and are asking that person and others who may have witnessed the crash to call the 1st District Detective's office.